Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. Today's video will be focused on the licensing part. The questions that are usually asked in the Power BI interviews based on Power BI license. Okay, a lot of people have the confusion about the different licenses, and I believe they are still not clear about it. So let's discuss these in detail, and I hope it will be very helpful for you in the upcoming interviews. Okay, so let's start the video, and before that, if you're new to the channel. and do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos so the first question that can be asked from the license part is this as a developer which license we should have in power bi okay to answer this question we should always say that as a developer we should have a pro license okay all the power bi developers should have a pro license in power bi to develop the reports and publish it in power bi service okay so this is the answer that you have to give okay so what are the different kinds of license options available in power bi okay so if you'll see on the screen i have mentioned here pro license premium license and premium per user license so you would be assuming that there are overall three license but in fact overall we have four license there is one free license also but in the organizations we do not use a free license so we will not talk about that free license we will only focus on these three license that is pro license premium license and premium per user license so you will say we have two license which is user based per user based license that is pro license which is pro license and premium per user license and we have another that is capacity based license which is premium license okay so overall you will say three license so i hope it is clear to you now how you have to answer this question okay now let's proceed with the next question that is can you tell me the difference between pro premium and premium per user license the difference can be asked from either of them maybe from uh, between pro and premium maybe between pro and premium per user or maybe between premium and premium per user license okay okay so you should know about each one of them how you have to answer them now let us see in detail about these different license okay so here i have put together all the differences between pro license and premium license and premium per user license so before giving the interview we should just uh, revise all these points so that if anything asked difference among these you can easily answer it in front of the interviewer so for a power bi license the first point is as i have mentioned already is as a power bi developer we always need a pro license it is a per user based license okay or a subscription okay so this is the first point regarding pro license it costs around 13 dollar usd per user per month okay and using this we can refresh eight times a day okay uh, any any data set and uh, if you use the pro power bi pro license the model size can't exceed 1 gb okay so this point you have to also keep in your mind and the other things all the facilities or functionalities that the developer has that is uh, there in the pro license if i talk about premium license so it is a, as i said earlier it is a capacity based license so for example if you have a larger user base for example 10000 users that means in your organization or company 10000 users are there who has to consume that power bi report then in that case we have to go for capacity based license okay so if we assume 10000 users so our cost will be dollar 33000 usd per month okay and using a premium license 48 times we can refresh the data set okay as compared to 8 times a day which we have normally as a pro license and the model size we can have up to 400 gb here we have only 1 gb limit okay so that is another major difference and again uh, for a premium license we still need a pro license as a developer to use this capacity based license basically it is a capacity based license which we buy for our app workspace okay so this is all about premium workspace and then the premium per user license so it is also a user based license okay and to use some advanced features of power bi this ppu is designed that is power bi premium per user license the cost is around dollar 20 usd per user per month using this ppu license also we can do 48 times refresh a day plus unlimited api refreshes and with the ppu license we can have model size up to 100 gb and the major purpose of ppu license was that microsoft introduced this introduced this ppu for companies not that big in their user base to use the premium capacity option but still want to use premium functionalities okay so that for that purpose microsoft introduced introduced this ppu license okay so i hope the differences between pro premium and premium per user license it is it is clear to you now please share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you